What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Objective Secured, which is beat the par score on outskirts in the level Halo 2. So this is the second playable level. You start off with a battle rifle and SMG, just shoot this guy in the face, take his plasma pistol, and you have a BR plasma pistol combo to start off, aka the noob combo, so you could easily kill some elites. Uh, I started off just killing all of these grunts, jump up here, and you'll be able to move around back of these people. Once you move up to here, they spawn, you see them pop on my radar, and they actually move through this door, and we're behind them now, they have no idea where we are, um, but they're going to engage our marine buddies up ahead there, or behind us, where we came from. So you can see these guys are totally distracted. There's two elites and two grunts. I killed one grunt, I think the other one was taken out by my marine buddies. Uh, so that's the first wave of enemies. At this point, you'll get a checkpoint. And there will be three beam rifle jackals up there, so watch out for that. Don't just run out of here willy-nilly. You gotta be prepared to take out these three dudes. And there's also an elite up there who horrifyingly jumped down at me. But we got one more beam rifle guy to deal with. And you can just slowly poke your head out and headshot him. You want to poke your head out right after he shoots a beam rifle um, because he has a little built-in pause that he does after he shoots, so you'll be less likely shot if you uh, poke your head out right after he shoots. So this whole area, we could actually get the par score of 8,000 points, which is very low for this level. I thought it would be much higher. Um, we could actually get all 8,000 points required in this first section alone. It's kind of like a firefight area. There's a bunch of waves of enemies coming from different uh, areas down on the street and also up on the rooftops, and also some phantoms. Uh, come in and also enemies even come from where we uh, first spawned in this level so just basically a lot of shooting people in the face uh, the noob combo obviously just noob the elites and shoot them in the face and the grunts just obviously shoot them in the face because they have no shields you could just headshot them right off the bat there's a bunch of battle rifle ammo in random spots right here for example there's just a battle rifle sitting right there next to this turret um, there's more battle rifle ammo in other spots I'll show you as we go along here. There's actually some to my right. Um, it's like in a little clip right there. Oh, no, I didn't hit it. I was very close to walking over it, but right about there, there was some uh, battle rifle ammo. I'll grab that in the future. Oh, there's some right there too. I think that was a dead marine. I don't think that's normally there. But you can see there's just wave after wave of enemies coming at the streets and at the uh, rooftop level. And, uh, you know, just all around general chaos. Uh, sometimes, by sometimes you mean there will be a wave of uh, buggers at one point, and there will also be a few jackal waves uh, on occasion. But mostly it's just elites and grunts. And obviously you could just jump down after each wave and grab a new fresh plasma pistol. Because you'll obviously run out very quickly if you only use one so there's obviously a ton of grunts mostly wielding uh, plasma pistols so you have a fresh supply constantly flowing towards you which is great uh, two things I did well one thing I did was add two skulls to make my multiplier go up here's one of the waves of jackals I mentioned previously just try to headshot them if you're having a lot of trouble with them you could actually just noob combo them just like elites noob comboing them will collapse their shield and you can just shoot them in the face so they're pretty easy to deal with that way if you need to and of course they're wielding plasma pistols as well so you could always uh, swap out for one of their fresh plasma pistols uh, two skulls I added on were thunderstorm which increases the rank of every enemy um, but I don't care what the rank of any of these elites are because frankly I'm just gonna deal with them the same exact way um, they're not really any more challenging uh, they would be if I was using, you know, normal ways of taking them out, like uh, any other weapon other than a noob combo, basically. But since we're noob comboing them, no matter what their rank, it's always just overcharged plasma pistol and then headshot with a BR. Or carbine, but we have a BR right now. Or I guess you could headshot them uh, with a sniper rifle, but that's kind of odd. Uh, but I guess you could do it. But anyway, enough silliness. Uh, I also have the catch skull on. And in this section, you'll notice there's a bunch of grunts that like to throw grenades up here. When they're on the street level, they like to throw them up here a lot. They're very keen on doing that. Here's some of the BR ammo. They're kind of in packets in the corner here. 
Uh, so don't look for a BR in this corner. There is no BR in that corner. There's just those little packet-looking things full of BR ammo. Um, but again, I have Catch On, which is my second skull I have on to increase the multiplier. So I get more points for all my kills and everything. So that uh, allows me to gain points faster. And you can see I'm going up pretty quickly. Uh, we're not even, like, anywhere through this level uh, progression-wise. We're still in the same spot, basically, that we started in. And we are quickly approaching the 8,000 required for this. So basically my strategy here is to get 8,000 in this first area. And then once the hunters come through, I'm just going to totally skip over the rooftops uh, to, well, like halfway through the level, I guess, uh, to the ghost. Then we can speed through the rest of the level uh, since we don't need to accumulate any more points. Uh, some things to note are uh, if you die, you're, uh, you lose points, obviously. Also, if you revert to last checkpoint, you lose double the amount of points than if you just die and allow yourself to respawn. If you're dying, allow the game to revert you to your last checkpoint rather than you doing it manually because you'll lose more points if you do it manually. I don't know why, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Also, ways to get more points are multi-kills, such as double kill, triple kill, overkill, um, and also sprees of any kind. So just killing sprees, killing frenzy, etc. So go for those as much as you can. Obviously, not dying goes hand in hand with sprees, so you won't lose points for dying, and you'll continue to get more points for sprees, so that's a key part of this. So now there's a phantom coming in, dropping off more troops. This is towards the end of this uh, firefight-esque section. There's a jackal up there, shot him through the glass. You always want to be on the lookout for jackals. Uh, especially you want to use your ears because usually you hear them before you see them. If you're lucky enough for them to uh, miss you when they shoot at you or if they're just shooting at somebody else like Johnson up here, um, you could hear them shooting at Johnson and then you'll be like, oh crap. And then you got to start looking out for where he is. So again, we're just noob comboing all these people and we're quickly approaching the scores that we need to get. So we'll get that 8,000 in this section. And then the hunters will come in and we'll be like, peace out guys, see you later. So grab a fresh plasma pistol, BR ammo, up. Oh, I'm not picking it up yet apparently. More jackals. They came from where we spawned from originally. Where, up. Oh. And you can see, up. Oh, nope. The, uh, the pelican actually comes in during this wave and, uh, takes out all the enemies for you. So, we don't really want that, so just try to kill as many as you can. Uh, the Pelican might take out a couple, though, like he just did for me, but... Whatever. We have enough points at this point. 8,000. Again, that's so weird. That Marine just totally fell out and died. That was funny. Marine's falling out of the sky. I think there was a beam rifle guy that the Pelican eventually took out. But at this point, when the Hunters come over here, you want to just leave the section. Go back to where you spawned. Uh, grab Johnson's sniper rifle first, though. So you have a battle rifle with as much ammo as you could get and a sniper rifle. And jump up here. And we're doing the skip to, uh, you know, do the part-time and everything and get all of the skulls and just gather the map in general. But we're going to just skip to the end. Obviously, if you don't have enough points by this point, don't worry about it. Um, if you're close to 8,000, we could just pick off a bunch of enemies as we go uh, through the map. At this point... Um, we're just, you know, hightailing it to the second half of the mission. Uh, you could get enough in the second half of the mission as well. So don't feel like you have to get all 8,000 here. Um, you could always pick off more as we go. So just keep going in this direction. I hear a beam rifle. That's why I'm, like, looking over there. I hear a beam rifle guy consistently shooting, and I'm scared I'm going to, like, get in his eyesight while I'm walking along these rooftops and him just snipe me. So that's why I was kind of hesitant to move forward over there. But... Thankfully, he did not see me. And there's three or four grunts down here. Along with one elite. So you could just headshot the grunts and then you could snipe the elite. When you snipe him, you actually stun him. So it's easy to continue to shoot him uh, with a sniper. See, he's stunned every time you shoot him. So it's easy to just keep shooting him. 
Uh, four shots with a sniper rifle will kill him if the fourth shot lands on his head for the headshot. Uh, if not, it will just pop his shield if you just land four random shots uh, with the sniper rifle. And you could just finish him off with a battle rifle because he'll have no shield at that point. Uh, at this point, you want to juggle a plasma pistol and sniper rifle up here. We're just going to noob these two elites that come around the corner from far away. You can be pretty far away and it'll still lock on, so don't feel like you have to get really close to them. And there's also like three grunts up there as well that will come around the corner behind them. They're not as dangerous though. That guy's throwing a grenade at himself. That's how dangerous he is. So make sure you grab your sniper rifle back. So we have a sniper rifle, BR again. There's a couple grunts over there. You don't need to kill them if you don't want to. I figured I'd shoot them just to get more points. And a big component to this is the time. Uh, your time bonus consistently... Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Look at this guy. That guy's usually not there if you go quick enough. Um, but he was that time, which was horrifying. But luckily he was just totally ignoring me, so that was nice. Uh, at this section, you want to take out three key enemies before you progress. At a minimum. Take out that guy. He's got a beam rifle. Uh, this was kind of sloppy. You could always just come here first and park and then just snipe the sniper rifle guy. Or the beam rifle guy. Um, you want to snipe that guy. He's on the turret. If you try to drive past him, he will tear you up. Probably kill you. And you want to snipe that beam rifle guy as well up in the tower. So at this point, I'm just going to speed by everybody. Again, if you don't have enough points, you could try to kill some people in this area. You could kill those guys if you want. I'm just speeding by, so it's kind of uh, dangerous. But obviously, you could just stay far away and pick people off if you want to with a ghost. Because it has infinite ammo. But just go to the water. You're pretty safe if you just coast along the coast. Like so. And uh, at this point, there's a bunch of elites that will drop in in their drop pods. And you'll have to fight that jackal sniper as he rises up in his tower. But you can just speed by and ignore him. Normally, I don't flip in that ghost like I do there. That was very uncharacteristic of me. But I flipped, and the guy, the jackal guy, actually almost sniped and killed me. But that's fine. We made it through. At this point, uh, you could speed by this whole section, basically. But I'm just thinning out the ranks, so it's easy to speed by everybody. Uh, at this point, you'll get a warthog reinforcement dude. You can see him right there. And of course, right now, I don't care about getting any points anymore. I'm just making it easier for myself to uh, move through. Because obviously, it's easier to uh, move through when you're not getting shot at by like 500 people. And also, you get more, uh, you have a higher chance of getting checkpoints if you uh, take out a lot of these people before you move forward. So, again, just shoot them from far away. You got plenty of ammo. There's only one elite left, so I just sped by them. And, yep. Area number two. Uh, like I was saying, I'm just thinning out people again here. Same thing. You should probably take out this uh, shade turret first from far away. If you get far enough away, he won't shoot at you, so you can just shoot at him uh, with no fear of him retaliating. He'll just sit in there and take it. Um, like I was saying earlier, the time is a crucial thing as well. Uh, once you surpass your time multiplier is three until you hit the uh, until you hit the part time once you hit the part time it slowly goes down to one until you hit double the part time once you're double the part time it actually your multiplier goes down to zero so that's when you start accumulating zero points for every kill so you can't just spend your entire day in this level and just take everyone out from far away and take like 10 hours to beat this level. Because eventually all your kills will count for nothing. And the only thing you could possibly do to change your score is die. So the only thing you could do is uh, go down from there, whatever you're at. So at this point I like to take out the first two nearest ghosts with, uh, or buggers with the ghost. The two closest buggers I take out with the ghost and then I'll just snipe the... Uh, three or so remaining buggers over there and take out the turret guy as well you want to make sure you have at least two bullets left over at the end because we're going to use those at the end but uh and that's the most important part to use them for so make sure you can serve some ammo we got plenty right now sometimes when you uh, pick up the rifle from johnson he has less than 20 
or 24. Sometimes he only has 12, so that's annoying. But he had 20 this time. You could sneak through there and avoid the ghost. They actually turned around and started shooting at me this time. That's never happened to me before when I took that uh, route. When I went to the left instead of the right. Going around that overturned bus. Very weird, but... Take out that shade turret from far away like we do. Then you can go up to the left over here and avoid most of the enemy fire. There's a bunch of people uh, towards the right over there, but we just moved past all of them pretty much with no uh, damage taken. Or nearly no damage taken. And now here's the three shadows up here. And we could actually kind of play leapfrog with them. I could go under each and recharge my shields as I'm just hanging out under each of them. So I'll show you that right here. Just hide under here. You could actually shoot and damage and kill them while under here. Uh, but that takes a long time. Because uh, it has a lot of hit points or it just must be a not very effective uh, spot to shoot them in. So you can see I'm doing the old leapfrog thing. If you don't have enough points, you could obviously kill the shadow over time while you're shooting it. And also, his friends are shooting at me and in effect shooting the shadow because it's surrounding, or yeah, surrounding me. So that's pretty funny. I did not get a good start f for uh, this leapfrog segment. I, I had like no shield when I was going from that second to that third shadow there, but we made it. And you can see we are past the shadows, and now all that's left is the last barricade section, which we're going to make very easy with those two sniper bullets I was talking about. Preferably you could have uh, more sniper bullets, like I do, uh, just in case you miss a shot or two, and also so we could kill one more optional uh, elite. Actually, you don't have to kill him, you just have to kind of get him out of where he is. So I'll show you that in a second when we move up here. Get on the shoulder like I am. Uh, get it to about here. Just hop out of your ghost. Hide behind your ghost. Shoot that turret. It's just a grunt sitting on a turret. Shoot that grunt on the turret. And you want to shoot this elite as well. We don't intend to kill him. I mean, if you do kill him, that's great. You get more points. But we don't want to kill him necessarily. We're just trying to get him away from that uh, turret on the top of the shadow. So he doesn't hop in there. So since he does that, since we shot him, he just jumps down or falls down. And we are free to move through here. And you can see we didn't take any damage really moving through there. Normally, if you just leave those two turrets alive that we took out, they just decimate you. And you usually get shot and killed making your way through there. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion, And I'll see you later for more achievements.